Welcome to this video demonstrating Dynamics Editions handheld for warehousing. Today I have the developer of this edition with me who's going to explain the aim of the day. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So uh, yes, my name's Heidi. Um, I'm the developer of Dynamics Editions handheld for warehousing and I'm going to uh, do a bit of a show and tell um, and explain some of the concepts behind the design decisions that we made uh, with the product. Um, I have with me here um, an Intermec CK71 um, and a few other devices. Um, the CK3R, which we tend to recommend for people, it's good for most applications, and also a Intermec CN51. Are these all current devices that we can supply? They are, yes, yes. Um, so the CK71 is kind of like the, the gold standard um, in that, um, you know, they're they're high quality devices, but they're more expensive. Um, for most people, the CK3R is more than adequate. Um, and the CN51 tends to be used more for proof of delivery and things like that, but um, it can be used for warehousing as well. The key point with these devices is that they're rugged. They're going to take the knocks. They're going to have a hard life. So they're designed for use in a warehouse production but environment? They are indeed, yes. So these devices tend to have a hard life. They get roughly treated in the warehouse. Um, so you need something that's going to last and that's easily repairable. So which device is this? So that's um, the CK71. That's what we'll be doing the demonstration on today. Um, it's uh, kind of the gold standard. Um, it's uh, good for extremes of temperature and uh, drops, that kind of thing. Um, it is the more expensive device. Um, I'd say the... the the sort of base device that we tend to suggest to people now is the Intermec CK3R. But that's certainly the gold standard and it's also the one I used to uh, develop on. And which device is this? Uh, this is the CK3R. Um, this is the device that we uh, tend to recommend to people. Um, it's nice and rugged, um, almost as good as the CK71 um, and significantly cheaper. It's uh, more than good enough for most people's needs. And the rubber casing? Uh, the rubber boot is just an extra piece of protection. It's removable, it's entirely optional. Um, I mean, all of the devices, you can, you can have um, trigger options on them, you can have like little, little uh, gun handles on them if you want them as well. So you don't just hold them in the hand, you've actually got them there. And holsters, that kind of thing as well. Cool. And which device is this? Uh, that's a CN51. Um, it's not as rugged as the other devices, um, but it has a slightly longer screen on it. Um, in, in fact, it has a nice, bright, clear screen on it, um, but it's certainly a good option. Um, it's not the primary choice for warehouse devices. Um, it's used for proof of deliveries a fair bit as well. Um, but um, it's certainly an option, as is anything running Windows Embedded or Windows Mobile 6.5. Okay, so um, the uh, software that uh, we're using to see what's going on on the device screen, because this, what we're seeing here on the left-hand side really is the device uh, itself. We're using something called Mobi Control, um, and that's what we generally use with our customers to be able to support the devices um, and um, roll software updates through on them as well. But it's also very useful for demonstrations. Um, so that we can show people easily what's going on on the screen on the device. But this is an actual handheld device um, with a barcode scanner um, that is ruggedized. So we're going to see a remote view of what's happening on the actual screen on the de actual device. We are, yes, yes. Um, but I think it's also important to show that you know these are actual real devices and we will be scanning barcodes today um, as opposed to typing things in because that's generally how they're going to be used in the warehouse. So um, the devices um, run Windows Embedded Compact or Windows Mobile 6.5. Um, they're the primary choice for these kinds of devices. This is what the, the hardware manufacturers uh, have tended to stick with. Um, they need to be able to take the knocks. They need to be easily repaired. Um, and also as well, Windows Embedded Compact offers the right kind of user interface um, most suitable for processes in a warehouse environment. There are a, a lot of uh, handheld and truck mounted devices out there and in the main they're running Windows Embedded Compact. So it does work on truck mounted devices as well 
Um, the software is designed to scale to the screen that it's running on, um, and uh, you know, it works very nicely on truck-mounted devices that have larger scale screens on them, um, with just some adjustments to the button sizes on the menus usually required, but other than that it works perfectly. So anything that runs Windows CE or Mobile 6 point something? That's that right, work. yes. Yes, okay. that's right. And which version of NAV will it work for? Um, we've um, just ended support for NAV, uh, Dynamics NAV 2015, um, and it uh, runs fine on Dynamics NAV 2016 and 2017. I see. So it's geared for the latest versions? It is indeed, and uh, we've also threaded the... Um, New, the new uh, technologies that they've added into the latest versions of NAV, um, such as events, which are actually allowing uh, NAV developers to extend out the product for individual customers without affecting the product at all. So that's a real benefit in terms of being able to customise the solution for a particular customer's needs. Um, it really was, for me, one of the final pieces of the puzzle um, for making something that was easily upgradable um, you know, so we have a product that is not touched, but the customer can have additional prompts if they want, entirely new functions. It's not a problem at all. And this product does have a good amount of history behind it as well. It has a good track record, I believe. It, it does. This is version 6. Um, and um, I've been looking after it personally for the last five years. Um, I, I wasn't the first, but what we've done here is really... Um, we've started from the ground up with it with version 6 in that whereas before we had to change uh, the device side and NAV um, which made it difficult to introduce simple things like new fields or slight changes in behaviour the way it's written now is that all of that is in Dynamics NAV um, and it's the job of any NAV developer um, to actually change the behaviour of the device without requiring um, somebody to work on both sides and marry both sides up. So it's a lot better in that way. I see. Okay, but yes, it has been around uh, quite a while um, now um, in previous iterations. So we have a number of customers on various different versions of NAV that have had this product in the past? Absolutely, yes, yes, we've got a lot of customers. Well, um, as, as part of the uh, Microsoft certification process that we've just gone through, it's necessary to have a certain number of reference sites, uh, and right. we had no problem in that regard at all. So we now do have CFMD status? We do, we Excellent. do, we do, with all the benefits that brings. So I'm, I'm very pleased about that. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so, shall we uh, get started um, on the screen? So the first thing that you see when you log in is the login screen. Um, and you can choose a device user from the drop-down list here, which, I'll, which you can see here. Um, but that's not necessary because it does remember um, the last person that logged in. So if it tends to be one user assigned to a device all the time, um, then there's no need for them to start clicking on drop-down boxes or anything like that. It will default automatically to the password field and you just type your password in, which I'm going to do on the device now. Here we go. And that takes us straight um, to the main menu. And you can see the images loading in behind that as well. Uh, we load the, the menu in first and then the images on top of that. Now these tiles look familiar straight away. Yes, indeed. Well, it, it's, uh, it's been designed to look like a, a Dynamics NAV role centre, whilst at the same time re retaining large buttons. In a warehouse environment, um, you've got uh, people that might be wearing gloved hands or whatever, but you don't want them to be constantly taking a stylus out or whatever. Um, you need big buttons, you need large user interface controls, and you need to keep it simple because you don't want it to get in their way.